Hello YouTube, this is Marauders here and this here is my Asus ROG Xbox LIX and being a handheld gaming PC, it can do one, has a, one special trick and that is the fact that if you're at home and docked, you can actually just connect it to a full-size GPU via the right hardware like I have this uh, 3070 I have right now so when if I play now I'll instead of using the internal graphics card I'm going to enjoy high performance using the RTX 3070 but there's just one small problem with with PC gaming and uh, if you're familiar with PC gaming you know exactly what's gonna come up after this which is, let's all say it together now. Shader compilation. Yay. So the problem with PC gaming is that because unlike on consoles where the hardware is pretty just like set up uh, to be where there's only one real hardware configuration, PCs uh, sometimes depending on the game, they might want to do shader compilation so that you know the game doesn't stutter when you're actually playing with it so uh, ideally this is only supposed to happen every time your graphics drivers updates ideally but unfortunately it takes a really really long time to do this depending on the game and uh, Capcom games take a hell long time to do this so uh, Let's just let it do its thing. We'll just start a stopwatch here and see how long it takes. Am I at? Am I giving it all the horsepower is needed? It needs. Let's see. Yep. Okay. I'm on turbo mode. We're running full full ball, 35 watts. Okay. Let's just see how long it takes to compile shaders. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. I think we're almost done. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. One of the worst things about playing Capcom PC games is that this this shader compilation it it's insane, okay? It just takes way too long. Okay? Luckily, you only need to do it whenever your drivers update. Oh god. Yeah. And uh, uh, the, the, it, the, any follow-up times are usually doesn't, isn't as bad as the first one because it's like you just need to compile whatever's different. Okay, let's see how long did it take. About 32 minutes. Jesus. Okay, but now that our shaders compiled, we can play now. Okay, you can see that the 37 day is starting the world. And uh, let's bring up some stats. Okay, so what do you have? Uh, 33 FPS. Okay, so we have 33 frames. We are running at, we are running at medium. Well, I mean, I guess I can go to high. Let's go to high. Yes. And then let's, let's turn on frame gen. Uh, Okay, it even though we have a, oh we only frame gen is only available if there's oh I only have 3070 I can't use DLSS because it's a it's a 3070 okay only 40 series DLSS okay fine um we can always use AMD I guess this is a lower version of AMD FSR uh, balanced. Yay, let's go. 
Okay, here we go. We got we got we got fake frames. Let's go. We got 62 frames a second. Okay. But basically what I just wanted to know, show you now is that yes, we are definitely using the we are definitely using the 3070 for running right now because uh yeah you're not you're not getting 70 frames per second with this kind of clarity on the built-in GPU on the iGPU. So this is definitely running on the on the eGPU right now. So uh let's quit the game. Okay, so Shader compilation is only supposed to run one once every time the every time your 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 drivers get updated or for whatever reason your shader cache gets gets changed. Okay, so if I run the game now again, we should just get into the game. There shouldn't be any shader cache uh, re rebuilding because. Uh, because we already we, we we just created the shader cache just now, so it really shouldn't calculate the shader cache anymore. Let's let's see if it does. Well, that's PC gaming for you. Wait thirty minutes every time you want to play a game. Yeah, that that that's not good. I really don't know why Capcom games want to do this. It's a mystery to me. Okay, so boom, the game just kicks in, no, no shader recompilation. So basically, yes, what we saw was that yes, shader compilation sucks, okay, it takes a very long time to do, but you know, if you, once it's done, you don't have to go through that crazy thing again. But here's the kicker. You see, we our GPU right now, where the shaders have compiled on, is for this eGPU. So what happens if now you need to go out and have dinner with your family and you want to take your your RG Ally X with you? So okay, we're just gonna toggle the video card to get ready for so that we can disconnect the video card. Okay, and okay, we're going out for dinner. So you disconnect the power. Now, we arrive at our nice little restaurant. We sit down, we order, we sit, we order. And uh, we're waiting for food. Okay, let's play some portable monster hunter because you know, it's a handheld gaming PC. We can play portably. And oh no, what's this? We're combining shaders again, and it's like as if nothing happened. Why? I thought this was only gonna happen because whenever the the driver updates. Well, that's the thing. The video card that we're running the game on right now. It's totally different from the video card that the shader that was that it ran for just now because right now it's using the iGPU instead of the eGPU. So it's gonna have to redo this again. And uh, let's let's set the clock guys. Let's set the clock. Okay. Let's see if it takes 30 minutes now because you know right now we're just sitting in the restaurant and we're waiting for food, you know, cause uh yeah. Now we, we just screwed up. We are, we are just waiting for food and now we're staring at a loading screen. So this is just one of the few caveats about PC gaming, okay? Shader compilation re just really, really sucks for PC gaming. But, you know, uh, again, luckily not all games do this. And not all games do it so, take so long. I am pretty sure 
that Capcom games, in my memory, Capcom games are the ones that really take the longest to do shader compilation. I really don't know. Or maybe I'm just or maybe I'm just blocking it from memory of all the bad memories of uh, extra long shader compilations. So I yeah, maybe, maybe I'm just forgetting it. Oh god, okay. Okay, it's finally over. How long did this take? 36 minutes. Oh my god. Okay. And dinner isn't here yet. Damn, this was a bad restaurant choice. So okay, we're gonna play some Monster Hunter first because you know we already spent 30 minutes doing the shader compilation. Okay, so uh, yeah, now we are back on the the IGPU and yeah, we are different the IGPU now. We've lost all the nice frames. Let's just turn on the meter. Let's take a look. What do we have? Okay, we got 26 frames per second. Okay, let's see if we can turn on FSR and just get some more frames or something. Okay, we are on super low. We we okay. Let's turn on frame generation FSR. Give us some frame gens. Well, the main thing that I want to show here now is just that okay, we are definitely running on the iGPU because you know we can't even hit. If I switch this to high, yep, we are just at twenty eight frames. Definitely much much lower than when we were actually running with the eGPU so okay now dinner's here well, it's time to eat so we're just gonna quit back out first and uh, finish our dinner and go home okay so now we come back home from from a horrible dinner because we had to wait like 30 minutes for our food we plug our Asus ROG Xbox Ally back in to the eGPU we enable back our eGPU and we are ready to play Monster Hunter again so let's go now if everything is working as it should be we should not see the shader compilation happen this time because the shaders for the Nvidia card should still be there and there shouldn't be a need to run shader compilation again Okay, and it just ran without having to redo shader compilation. Okay, so let's just test. Now that the eGPU isn't going to do shader compilation again, let's just switch back to the iGPU and see whether it does any shader comp compilation. Okay, so it also on the iGPU, it also ran without having to do shader compilation again. So in summary, what I want to point out here is that while it's great to have an eGPU for your handheld gaming PC so you can have better performance when you have it when you have it connected, you have to remember that since you have two GPUs, if you have a situation in games where you need to do shader compilations, yeah, you're going to have to do it for both of the GPUs and whatever time that you need to wait for that for that shader compilation, you're going to have to deal with it for both with the eGPU connected and with the iGPU. Okay, and in certain games, that's going to take a while. I'm looking at you, Capcom. Okay, so this is Marauders. Hope this was information that's helpful. I'll see you all in the next video.